Welcome to Impursuit 360. Today, we are going to be talking about that all infamous, famous question of what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? So let's get into it. All right, again, welcome to Impursuit 360. Today, we're going to be talking about that famous interview question, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? And what's kind of the theory behind the question? And what are some things to think about or consider while answering that question? The very first time I ever heard this question, I was being interviewed for a sergeant's position and I answered, what's my strength? And I said, my greatest strength is my work ethic. And I'm very dedicated. I put everything I have into, you know, what I do and being precise and, you know, all this good stuff. And then I said, and my greatest weakness is also my greatest strength, my work ethic because I'm so dedicated to my job that I tend to sacrifice time with my family or you know, um, I don't concentrate on my personal things as much as I do work because it means so much to me, blah, 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 right? And then after that interview, um, I, I actually, I got promoted, but it wasn't because of the answer to that question. Um, I found out later that is like the worst answer you could possibly give. Don't tell them that your weakness is your strength. Don't, don't play that game. I, I tried it. I got lucky, you know, my other answers were good enough that they decided to give me a shot as a sergeant, um, but that question did not do it for me. I found out later that that question actually um, could very well have caused me some issues. So yeah, don't do that. My strength is my weakness. My weakness is my strength, whatever. Don't, don't mess with that. Um, so think about something that, that you do well. Now. Think about it in the means of the job that you're going for. So regardless whether you're going for a law enforcement position, you're going, you're already in law enforcement, you're going for an investigator spot, you're going for a canine spot, you're going for a traffic unit spot or a SWAT team or whatever, or even out in private world, you're going for a um, project manager's position, you're going for uh, some kind of a retail spot. I, I don't know, whatever position it is that you're going for, this question may come up. What's your greatest strength? What's your greatest weakness? Your greatest strength, think about your characteristics. Think about the way you think, the way you do things, the way that um, uh, you interact with people. And then of all those things that involve that job, what's your greatest strength? I always feel that mine's communication. I have the ability to communicate well with others. So I can express an idea or an opinion, or I can express instructions or guidance towards something and understanding how people are different and they react differently to different approaches and different words, um, different presentations, um, I'm able to kind of modify my communication so that the receiver understands the point I'm trying to get across and it's put across in a way that they understand so that then we can re uh, interact together. I also tend to stress the fact that I understand that um, listening to understand in communication is the key. Listening to respond is a bad downfall. So I never listen just to respond. I will let somebody get their entire idea out. Then I will think about what they said. I will sometimes paraphrase it back to them to make sure that they know that I understand what they said. Um, and then I will, based off of what they've said, then I will respond. But I never listen to respond. I always listen to understand. So communication is what I would say my strength is. You can have something different. You can say your strength is organization. If you are going for a position that requires you to be very well organized, let's say, believe it or not, a traffic unit, right? A traffic unit has to be extremely organized because you are going to have complaints that come in from citizens and you're gonna be given a list. It says, hey, these are the areas we need to hit. You need to spend so much time in each one, blah, blah, blah. Um, you've got to have this done by the end of the week. So now you have to sit down and figure out where these locations are, what times the complaints came in, um, and then what time are you going to be out there running radar or watching stop signs or watching children at play or you know, whatever, right? So how are you going to schedule that out? And you, you may say organization is, is my strongest point, which will help in the traffic unit because I understand that I will have to maintain a schedule and I'll have to keep track of how many citations I write, how many warnings I give, and I'm very good at organization. So I would be, you know, you know, see what I'm saying? So whatever position, program manager, uh, what is your greatest strength? My greatest strength is 
uh, it can be communication, it can be organization, right? These are all things that are key in pro project management. Those strength is, is probably the easiest one to come up with, especially if you understand the position that you're applying for and what strengths you have best play into that role. So whether it be law enforcement, investigator, canine handler, um, project manager, um, store manager, you know, produce manager, take your pick, any of those, right? Any of those, you, you can you can find that that thing. But the biggest trick is, what's your greatest weakness? What is your greatest weakness? How in the world is your greatest weakness going to help you get a job? So let me tell you this: mine is I'm a procrastinator. I tend to put things off, and I know it. I'm I'm pretty bad at it, right? So if I just said, well, I tend to be a procrastinator. I tend to put things off. And um, that's, that's been a problem since I was like a teenager in high school. So yeah, I'm, I'm a procrastinator. And that's the end of my answer. Oh my goodness, I'm going to bury myself, right? Don't do that. Your greatest weakness, you tell them what that is and add in what you've done to fix it or what you do to manage it. My greatest weakness will forever be procrastination, and I know it. So what do I do to fix that? My greatest weakness is procrastination. I have a tendency to put things off. Um, I'll put them on a back burner. Um, I know my deadline is Friday, and I'll wait till Thursday afternoon to start the project. So what I have learned to do over the years to correct and manage this is I will create a list at the beginning of every week or the beginning of every workday, or I have multiple lists. I have my long-term goal list, and I have my short-term goal list. And I will manage those, my long-term goals I'll do every week or two weeks or something. My short-term goals I manage first thing in the morning. I'll create a new list, prioritize what I have coming up with all my deadlines and everything. And by doing that, it keeps me on task and doesn't let me put things off to the last minute. That way I prioritize my projects and my things that I have to get done. And that way I know which ones that I need to hit first. So while I am a procrastinator, I've figured out a way to manage that so it doesn't my performance or my duties how's that right so that's what they're looking for they want to know what what is your weakness maybe it's communication what have you done to fix that maybe if you're not a really good communicator um, maybe you're studying maybe you're taking classes maybe you make a very concerted effort while you're talking to somebody as you will try to jot down notes so that you concentrate on listening to understand instead of trying to formulate answers as they're talking and then you don't hear everything they're trying to say. Um, maybe maybe you can say, I randomly go out and speak to, to various people um, about just whatever, the weather or sports or whatever, so that you can get an idea how people's personalities are different Therefore, you have to adjust how you're speaking based on who they are. And so you'll just randomly go out and speak to some other people and kind of try to figure that out. So there you go. There's the strengths and then there's the weaknesses. One, they're not the same. Okay, they can't be. So what is your greatest strength and what is your greatest weakness and how do you manage or overcome that weakness on a regular basis? Your weakness will always be your weakness. So what is it? I've identified mine, you need to identify yours. And again, please don't use my greatest, my greatest weakness is my greatest strength, they're the same thing, because don't do that. All right, so yeah, that's it, that's it, that's the theory. They want to know, one, can you communicate your abilities, right? Are you confident enough to communicate your strengths? Are you confident enough in your management of your weaknesses that you can admit to them and explain what you do to overcome them on a regular basis? Do you have that ability for that kind of, oh, here we go, communication? Can you communicate that? Now, you know, interviews, interviews are funny. Interviews are not the time to be humble, right? You can't be arrogant, but you can't be humble. If you have done something in the past, if you have accomplished something, sell it. Give it to them. But don't act like you're the greatest thing since sliced bread, right? You're not. There's always somebody better. Um, 
which actually delves into another question that we'll get into next time is what make of all the qualified candidates we have what makes you the better choice um, that's a fun one to get into um, because you know you, you have to there's a certain amount of humility that comes into play but you can't undersell yourself either but you can't be arrogant enough that you chop everybody else down people that you don't even know so anyway all right so hey Thanks for tuning in to In Pursuit 360. We are over 2,500 subscribers. I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, if you would, please, if you're new here and you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, give me that thumbs up. Thumbs down if you have to, but leave a comment as to why you uh, why you think it's a thumbs down. And um, don't forget that bell notification down there. We'll let you know when the next video is coming out. I'm trying to get on a better schedule. If you've noticed, I've also been doing some shorts. Those shorts are... Um, kind of like just little tidbits in between, like just little snippets of, of advice or ideas or things that kind of cross my mind, um, which I mean, could be dangerous crossing this mind, but anyway, all right, good enough. So in the meanwhile, Hey, thanks again for tuning in and be safe out there.